Russian dance duo Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin performed in the Ice Show Eye on Christmas show. Video published on YouTube channel The Skating Lesson. Davis and Smolkin train in the USA. They were entered for two rounds of the Russian Grand Prix but missed both. One of the former American figure skaters on the social network posted a photo with the honored Russian figure skating coach Terry Tutberids. Tutberids attended the Christmas show A Holiday Dream on Ice, which took place on December 10 in the American city of Leesburg, Virginia. One of the participants in this event was the daughter of the Russian coach Diana Davis, who is paired with Gleb Smolkin. An absolute honor to meet the queen of figure skating, wrote Aniki Hansford. Earlier it became known that Davis and Smolkin, who live and train in the United States, will miss the Russian championship in Krasnoyarsk at the end of December. Prior to this, the skaters missed two stages of the Grand Prix. Honored coach of the USSR Tatyana Tarasova spoke about the participation of Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin in an ice show in the USA. Of course, I would like to see Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin at our competitions. Who said they won't come to Russia anymore? They train in the USA. Maybe they have a visa problem. We don't know all the reasons. Now it's hard to go to America, so they don't come back. There may be various assumptions, but I do not live by them. We will have a national championship. They must come to the competition. Then we can talk about our assumptions, said Tarasova. Three-time Olympic champion, State Duma Deputy Arena Rodnina also spoke about the participation of Diana Davis and Gleb Smolkin in a nice show in the United States. The couple will miss the Russian Figure Skating Championship in Krasnoyarsk, which starts on December 22. I am not an appraiser and cannot evaluate them. As far as I know, Gleb is waiting for a green card, so he cannot leave America, or maybe he does not want to. It is worth contacting Mom Davis. Let her explain why the couple does not come to Russia, if she wants to, of course. I'm not going to guess on coffee grounds, said Rodnina. In November, Ruzeda tested the 2022 Olympic champion in the team tournament, the current champion of Europe and Russia in figure skating Kamila Voliva for doping for the second time in a year, TASS reports. It is worth noting that in November the Russian anti-doping agency tested 16 Russian skaters. They included, Elizaveta Tuktamasheva, for the first time in 2022, Dmitry Aliyev and Mikhail Kolyada, both for the fourth time, Andrei Mozalev, third sampling in 2022, Archil Malinikov, Vladislav Dikidze, Ksenia Gushina, Roman Kudlav, Vladimir Kuznetsov, Anastasia Molchanova, Irina Onyshchenko, Maria Paramanova, Alexander Povetkin, Daria Sadkova and Elisa Shemunova, all for the first time in 2022. Since January 2022, the Russian anti-doping agency, Ruzeda, has recorded 360 cases of violations by athletes of the rules for the availability of testing. This was reported by the press service of the agency. Nine Russian athletes are serving suspension due to violations of the rules of accessibility for testing. Meanwhile, the world of figure skating is anxiously waiting for news on the same Voliva doping case. It is worth recalling that the intentional use of illegal drugs by a Russian woman has not been proven, and the Court of Arbitration for Sport CS, will have to put an end to this case, where it was transferred by the World Anti-Doping Agency WADA. Last week, IOC President Thomas Bach said he expected the proceedings to be completed as soon as possible. We hope that in the near future the court will make a decision and we will finally award medals to the athletes who deserve them. But this decision must be made by CAS, the official said at a press conference. However, there are no reports yet about the expected date of the hearings, nor about the composition of the jury. In accordance with its rules and practice, CAS will not comment on the current procedure, except for the date of the hearing, which will be published as soon as it is scheduled. Tass quoted the court as saying. WADA also declined to comment, citing the fact that the proceedings are still ongoing. In Russia, of course, they are counting on a favorable outcome. So, the honorary president of the ROC, 
Vitaly Smirnov, called for giving up all his strength and fighting to the end in order to protect Camilla and prove her innocence. This is a brilliant skater, a talented girl, but still a very young and fragile body. She wants to be protected. We must all do our best to fight for it. But if, God forbid, what will happen, do everything to somehow help her survive this, said Smirnov, silver medalist of the 2022 Games Alexandra Trusova held a meeting with young skaters from Udmursha. The event was held in the swimming pool The Power of Water. In Vyanishevsk. It is very interesting to communicate with children. They always ask their questions a little differently, the athlete shared her impressions. Alexandra Trusova answered journalists' questions. At what age did you start skating? My parents sent me to figure skating at the age of four. Do you remember what place you took in your first competition? Fourth. What is the hardest jump for you? Triple axle. And how did the trixel jump? For a dog. For the great snipe they gave me a chihuahua, and for the trixel they promised me a miniature poodle. Favorite spin? Bedouin, because there is a jump. And I love to jump. Have you tried jumping quintuples? They are still very far away. Work and work. Is it difficult to learn a new program? No, it's not difficult. I love new programs very much, because after a year it gets so boring to skate the same thing. For this season's short program, I chose the music myself. What other sports are you interested in? Tried long jump, pole vault, went to dances. Are you planning on getting more dogs? I now live separately from my parents. And with five dogs is difficult. And I also have two cats. Is it difficult to play sports with such long hair? I haven't tried it any other way. Never sheared. How many pairs of skates do you take with you to competitions? Always alone. Only went to the Olympics with two. How many pairs of skates do you change per season? I used to ride a wrist sport. And changed up to seven pairs per season. Now I switched to Adea, I manage with two pairs. The 2020 European champion, Russian figure skater Aliona Kostornaya, will take part in the New Year performances of two-time Olympic champion Yevgeny Plushenko as part of the Winter in the Moscow Region project. This is reported by the official fan group of the athlete in her Telegram channel. The events will take place in two cities of the Moscow region, December 17 in Voskresensk and December 18 in Istra. Recall that 19-year-old Elena Kostornaya did not take part in the competitions of the 2022-2023 season, as she is recovering from hip surgery. At the moment, Elena Kostornaya's coach is Elena Bayanova. Before that, the athlete was engaged in the group of Atari Tutbirids. She also spent one season at the Yevgeny Plushenko Academy. Elena Kostornaya posted a video from a pair dance training on social networks. In the video, Kostornaya, along with her partner, Russian figure skater Georgi Kanitsa, rehearses double ejections. A new set, it turns out, Kostornaya wrote in her official Telegram channel, which, judging by the numerous comments on the publication, clearly intrigued her fans. 19-year-old Georgi Kanitsa is a former student of Atari Tutburids and Tamara Moskvina and Kostornaya's partner in the Dracula and Bremen Town Musicians Ice Shows. In one of his recent statements, he positively assessed Kostornaya's prospects for a possible transition from single to pair skating.